you just want something that's cute, jazzes up your outfit, and you don't want it to be permanent because I've always wanted a tattoo, but I don't know if I'm ready for the commitment yet. So if you guys are like that, then you should keep watching this video because I'm showing you guys how to make DIY temporary flash tattoos. It's super awesome, super cool. I love it so much. It's so easy to complete. So keep watching this video if you want to learn how to do that. Well, my hand just made like a really weird noise. And I want to make a disclaimer before we get into this video. My fake tan is completely horrendous. I have white hands. Yes, I know. I have weird marks all over my body. I do tan in a bottle because I'm freaking white. And when you're freaking white, what you do is you tan yourself from a bottom. So that's what Ally did. So don't judge me. So yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first thing you're going to be needing is some gold leafing paper like this. They sell them in silver and gold. I just have both of them. You can get this from Michael's Arts and Crafts. Also be needing a little makeup sponge like this. Some washi tape. It doesn't matter of any color. So if you have any color on hand, just go ahead and use that. And also be needing some spirit gum and scissors. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right ahead and take my washi tape and wrap it around my finger. You first wanna decide on where you want your um, flash tattoo. I'm just going to make a little ring on my finger. It's gonna look absolutely adorable. So you wanna first line out where you want it and then cut out some tape of where you would want the design. And in between, this is gonna be your template. So right in between is where we're gonna put the flash tattoo. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out our gold leafing paper of the amount that you if you do it on your arm make sure you cut out a few sheets before you apply the spirit bead gum because then it will get like sticky and not work so once we have that cut out then what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the spirit gum right in between the tape what flaunt it off with the makeup sponge the less spirit gum the better Bubble, you can't bark <laughs> and then taking our gold leafing paper and applying it right to where our finger is right in between the tape and then pressing it down it's easier if you keep the paper on the gold leafing paper because the gold leafing paper is very delicate. So if you like get it like messed up and get like stuck to your fingers, it can rip really easily. So make sure you're careful. So once you have the outline design that you want and you have the gold leafing paper on, then go right ahead and pull off your tape and there you have it. A really awesome, fun minute flash tattoo. You guys saw how fast that took to do. It literally is the easiest DIY tattoo. I have ever done. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this one more time on my arm. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking the tape, wrapping it around my arm, and then cutting it in half because then we don't have to use as much tape, making the outline like I did before on my hand, on my finger, but this is a little bit more difficult because it's a bigger surface. So I'm going to make three different um, flash tattoos on my arm, so I'm just going to need to cut out a little more of the gold leafing paper. I decided to do silver and gold like I did on my finger just because it was the theme that I was going for, but you can always do fun designs like triangles and stuff, but I'm just doing it all the way around my arm. So the first one I'm going to do is gold, and then I'm going to go right ahead and do silver putting more um, spear gum. And first, I wanna just go, uh, go ahead and mention, if you guys are allergic to adhesives, I wouldn't do this. So I'd make sure that I test out the adhesive on a little part of my skin before trying this out fully, just because I wanna make sure that you guys aren't like gonna have allergic reaction to spear gum or anything. So just a little um, tip in case, just to try that out before. But now you're gonna peel off your tape again. I actually said I was gonna do three, but I think I did two on my arm. But I'm just gonna peel off the tape and it's a little chunkier so after you take a shower it does get less chunkier or yeah so there you have it the awesome flash tattoo DIY it's so awesome I'm just so excited I love it I'm like doing this and this weekend it's actually music midtown and I'm like wearing this to music midtown and it's like super awesome because you don't need a ton of accessories and they're perfect for like festivals kind of like that because there's fun and you don't have to worry about losing your accessories sometimes I feel like my brace is gonna fly off and you're like clapping to music or something but with this you have instant jewelry attached to your skin 
Guys, I wanted to go right ahead and mention that the day after, if that's, that's, that's day two. So I wore them all day yesterday and then I took a shower and this is what they look like. So if you want more of like a faded look and not so much of a chunkier look, it would be good. So I just wanted to mention that. Thank you so much you for watching this that. video. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to do flash tattoos. And if you did enjoy it, give it a big old thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys.